Hello everybody, happy December. My daughter's watching a dinosaur movie in the background, so if you can hear her roaring, it's dinosaurs. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog this month and I thought it would be fun if I just did like snippets of my week or of my day and then I upload, you know, whenever, whenever it works out. This is such a busy month um, for everybody, but I've got family coming in to stay. It's my daughter's eighth birthday on the 16th, and um, I've got a lot of stitchy plans and crafty plans. So I thought it'd be fun if I just, you know, shared a little bit of what I was doing. Um, I watch a gal in Israel, and she does the same idea, but she does it like less vloggy, but more of like a stitchy chronicle of like her stitchy day or stitchy week. But I thought it'd be fun to vlog. Um, so today I'm working on Little House Needleworks, Sleigh Bells Ring, and uh, this morning I started the house. All I had was the door, and this morning I did more of the house. And the snow is a one color, the front of the house is like a light gray color, and then you've got like a mid-tone gray for the details, and then a dark gray for up top. And um, I... I'm not using the called for DMCs. Well, I'm doing a mix of DMCs and um, over dyed threads just because I have them on hand, but I'm just substituting, I think. Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna be using, if you have this chart, I'm using 762 for the front of the house, which is a light gray. And then for the detail on the side, I'm using DMC 648. And I like its contrast to the snow white. Um, and then the side of the house is white. So it's, it's a pretty fun detail, I think. And this fabric is slippery, so I have it in a hoop. But I've been having fun with that. So far I've done about 100 stitches right here. So that's been really fun. I'm gonna uh, work more on the house. I'd love to have this done by the end of the weekend. Today is Friday and I would love to have this completely finished by Monday morning. Um, and then fully finish it that Monday because I want to uh, give this as a present. And it's kind of, I'm at the point where I either finish it now or I abandon the thought of giving it as a present and that's kind of sad to me. So that's fun. Um, earlier this week I posted a video, hold on. Earlier this week I posted a video on um, me finishing the 2020 Santa from Prairie Schooler. So I'll link that video down below. Um, or you can click the I card up above, um, right here. And this was fun. So I stitched this all through November and I loved this stitch. I have actually never completed, fully completed a Prairie Schooler before. I'm close to finishing another one. So I should pull that out after I do my ornament. Um, and it sits on my rustic tree. Just cause I have a huge hole there. <laughs> it kind of totally works in my opinion. And I love all the buffalo plaid and my Bass Pro Shop stockings. I've wanted these for years and we got them last year and I still love them. So um, now I need to stop stitching and I'm gonna go prep my sourdough bread. So I thought that'd be fun to bring you with me. I'm prepping my sourdough and uh, doing some more stitchy related things and sharing some other things that I've been up to this week. I need to pick out some fabric because I need to finally change out my um, my pillowcases. So I think I'm gonna do this buffalo plaid and I'm gonna wash it. I always pre-wash my fabric when I'm gonna do pillowcases. And then I have a yard of this. So I'm gonna do, I think, one pillow in this, which I think would be really cute. And then I'll do two of my pillows in this. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Like it'll make more sense when you see my pillows once they're done. 
but it's finally time to get rid of the squirrels and the harvest trucks and put in some Christmas trucks. Julesy's doing some green. You just did some work on a triangle, huh? And now we're doing the color green. And what are you coloring, Jules? Um, the baby turtle. The baby turtle. Good job. So this is my previous pillowcase and I don't think I wrote down what I did. And if I did, I don't know where I wrote it down. <laughs> so I am looking to see what measurements I did before and it's 18 inches and then each piece is 11 inches. So it's an 18 by 18 pillowcase. So I'm going to pretty much do 18, maybe 18 and a half by 12 and then just do a simple envelope pillow cover. My fabrics are dry. I have to measure that fabric to see if I have enough for a pillowcase or not. Um, it looks like I might've cut into that or it could be a yard. We'll find out. But the plan is to do two envelope covers and buffalo plaid and then one accent pillowcase. So let's get started. Hi. Okay, I've actually changed my mind. So the fabric is after it's washed and dried is not a full yard. So I did buy a yard, but it didn't come as a full yard, which then washed and dried, it's less than a yard, which means I can't do a full pillowcase out of a yard, which is all right. I bought this fabric last year. So anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the two pillows, the two truck pieces on the front, and then I'll just do buffalo plaid on the bottom, and then I'll see how much I have left over. And if I have enough, full buffalo plaid to make one full buffalo plaid envelope pillow, then that's what I'll do. So now let's get started. I have everything cut out now. I have, so two of these are gonna be the pillows. This is gonna be the front and I've got two backs um, two sets of backs, and then this is going to be my buffalo, and my buffalo check isn't going straight, which bothers me, but it doesn't bother me knowing that I'm probably only going to display this for like three weeks, so <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. So anyway, so the next part is just ironing everything into place and then sewing it together, but we need to eat. So I'm going to stop here. We're going to go eat and then, um, you know, Puts around the house and do things I need to do until I can come back and iron everything into place and have this project done hopefully tonight. It's two o'clock and I kind of stitch in increments throughout the day when I get days at home like this. And so far today, all of this is 193 stitches. Can you believe that? Doesn't seem like it should be that many stitches, but it is. So I'm pretty happy. So now I'm gonna go up with the gray and outline and then do the top of the roof and do that gray and do the windows. And then I'll start with the white and then come back down. And I should be able to finish that for sure. Maybe, maybe today. We'll see how the day goes. <laughs> I have been without internet all day, which is kind of nuts. Um, I guess the electricity went out somewhere in North County and I should just be lucky that I only have internet out and not my electricity. So um, we have eaten, obviously we've done other stuff and I have just sewed all the um, parts of the pillow together and now it's just putting the whole pillow together, I'll show you. So 
it's hemmed. So now all I have to do is put the sets of pillows together, sew them around, cut them down, and then flip them out, and easy peasy will be done soon. It is Friday night, and I had an unusually quiet night, and I got the roof. I got the gray in. The roof isn't done. It's got two chimneys and some smoke, but I did, however, oh, I've got all my threads. My clip threads. I did write down all my stitches, but I didn't count them yet. So let's see. Ooh, hold on. So I stitched 289 stitches, which is amazing to me that this is that many stitches. But it is. So, to, oh my gosh, my stomach is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to finish this house. And then the smoke and the chimneys. And if I have time, then I will finish up the details besides the string lad that last. Um, and then, depending on how that goes into Sunday, I'll finish this Sunday into Monday morning and I'll be done. And I'll be right on track, which is fun. I liked this stitch so far been very relaxing it's not difficult it's it's got a lot of quick rewards I feel like you're stitching and you see a lot of um like you have a lot to feel like you accomplished so that's always nice I'm gonna sign off for the night I'm gonna try to post on my website tonight because my internet's been out all day but it seems to be back in order so hopefully I can post my pretzel treats. Here's to hoping, otherwise I have to post twice tomorrow, which is kind of weird, but I want to post every day this. Um, I'm like petting my... <laughs> um, I want to post every day um, in December up to Christmas. So let's hope the internet is with me, not against me tonight.